So we haven't had a high profile resignation from the Biden team in a while, but Jewish staffer resigns from Biden administration over Gaza. So this is uh, Lily Greenberg call a staffer at the Interior Department cites Jewish heritage in accusing Biden of disastrous support for Israel's military campaign. A Jewish American Biden political appointee resigned from her post at the Interior Department on Wednesday, saying she could no longer work for the administration because of President Biden's continued support of Israel's war in Gaza. Lily Greenberg Call, a special assistant to the chief of staff in the Interior Department, cited her Jewish upbringing and ties to Israel in her resignation letter. She wrote that her family escaped anti-Semitic persecution in Europe and came to the United States, noting that they changed their names uh, at Ellis Island and that her grandparents could not go to college. I can no longer in good conscience continue to represent this administration amidst President Biden's disastrous continued support for Israel's genocide in Gaza, Green, uh, Greenberg Call wrote. Israel strongly denies that its actions in Gaza are, uh, I'm sorry, account to genocide. Yeah, where have we heard that? Um, <laughs> Greenberg Call is the first known Jewish appointee to publicly resign over Biden's support of Israel. The first Jewish appointee. Earlier this week, a U.S. Army officer working at the Defense Intelligence Agency resigned from the military, writing in an open letter he felt incredible shame and guilt knowing that his work contributed to Palestinian suffering and death. A political appointee from the Education Department resigned in January, and a career State Department employee who worked on arms transfers to foreign powers resigned in October. In an interview, Greenberg Call said that resigning was a challenging decision for her because of the community she grew up in, but that the Jewish values she was brought up with led to this decision. My Jewish identity is the most important part of who I am, and it is all of the values I was raised with and all of my Jewish education, 20 years of it, that led me to this decision. And it's how I know this is right, Greenberg Call said. What Israel is doing to people in Gaza and to Palestinians across the land is incredibly un-Jewish to me and such a disgrace to our ancestors. Now, I feel like two J-O-O's that we are. We can comment on that a bit. And that's why I wanted to zero in on that paragraph in particular, because I think she's right. And I know a lot of Jews who are very embarrassed by this for Mm -hmm. reasons that the Israelis find weak and cowardly the israelis we are not jews with trembling knees but yes i find this action to be extremely un-jewish so i think what she's tapping into there and we can brainstorm a bit about this is that the fact that the jews are a nomadic people make them underdogs in certain situations have uh, has led to circumstances where they have been persecuted obviously throughout history but that instills a humility in Jews, I think, that you don't necessarily see uh, from, you know, people who have built, you know, empires and great nations, Mm -hmm. right? There's a humility about us. There's there's a certain understatedness about Judaism. I always felt Judaism is very, it's a very humble and almost like a tragic philosophy. That's how I've always experienced it. Uh, And this is the opposite of that. This is bravado. This is, you know, they lie and not, you know, there's the the meme of the the lion draped in the Israeli flag. It's a rejection of all that. Like Zionism is really a rejection of what I consider the best qualities of Judaism, not just as a religion, but as a culture, as a philosophy, which is the only way I really experienced it. I never went to Hebrew school at all. uh, You did for a short time. But I think the the power of coming out as a as a Jewish appointee and and resigning and she's fairly young i think she graduated college in 2019 her saying this not only offends me as a human it offends me as a jew like th- this runs counter like philosophically to everything to my experience as a jewish woman yeah well einstein um actually said that the jewish people would lose a lot of their identity if they had a state right um right you know i i i mentioned hannah Arendt in a tweet i put out about the dana bash thing that went you know li- li- little viral little low-grade viral and some people say hannah Arendt was a zionist now she might have been 
until they actually did it. But by the 50s, I looked it up, she was actually very anti-Zionist. So it didn't take very long before it became clear what Israel actually was, such that even someone like Arendt, who did support it at one time, changed her mind once she saw what it really looked like. It's not like Jews were all united in saying this was a great idea. There were some very prominent Jewish voices like Albert Einstein speaking out against the idea. And I think Einstein in particular, what he said about it and what his fear was about it is very much what you are saying. He felt that the moral core of the Jewish community would be corrupted by having a nation with arms an army warfare. He he didn't feel that it was complementary to the best qualities of the Jewish people. And that is really a, the tragedy that Jews who remain connected to the culture, to the religion, to both, are going to have to spend generations disentangling after what I believe is going to be the collapse of the Israeli project. The Israeli project has always been on a, a on on our indulgence, on American indulgence, on Western indulgence and support. Once that indulgence and support dries up, they're not going to last very long. Um, and I think once that state collapses, as I believe it will, um, Jews are going to have to find another basis for their identity. And without having the kind of control over the over the narrative that they have been able to exercise. What Israel really is and was is gonna become the conventional wisdom that it was this terrible, terrible, racist, apartheid state that tragically was a response to a tragedy where the abused continued the cycle of abuse. Once that becomes the common understanding, Jews who have been brainwashed into seeing support for Israel as synonymous with their Judaism are going to have to go through a lot of soul searching to figure out what it means to be a Jew without Israel. Well, that's the thing, you know, and, you know, Zionism um, makes the worst assumptions about humanity. It makes the worst assumptions about the world. It assumes that unless the Jews have a state that they maintain in such a brutal way, uh, that they will be conquered, right? It, it baked into that philosophy is the assumption that humanity cannot transcend that kind right. of tribal violence, right? right? Which shouldn't that be the goal as a human being? Shouldn't you be invested in that? Please clap. <laughs> 